It's all about football and Polynesian roots. We chat with the first Tongan ever to play in the NFL, learn about the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame, meet the top football high school players in the world, and find out how a Laie sports legend is giving back. Football wouldn't be football without the players, the coaches, and of course, the contributors. Also, many of them are Polynesian. We're here at the Polynesian Cultural Center where there's the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame. Let's go learn more about it. I am here with the very first Tongan ever to play in the NFL, Vai Sekahema. Thank you for joining me. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. And you know, we are in the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and you had a big part of that. Tell me why. Well, we this all started um, really uh, on sort of a whim about five, six years ago. I wasn't a part of the group. There's a group of guys that went down to Samoa. They, they go every year. Uh, Troy Polomalu, um, Reno Mahe, Matanu Vasa, Jesse Sapolu, and they went down there to do camps. On their way back, they're talking on the plane. They thought, you know, um, we have so many guys who have played the game, but we don't have a Hall of Fame to, um, you know, to promote our causes, to uh, to celebrate the great players of our era, those who have come before us. Um, we should do something like that. And it just so happens there's a couple of guys who were on the trip <clears throat> who had helped set up the uh, Black College Football Hall of Fame. Oh. Um, so that was kind of a little bit of an inspiration. It was a little, yeah, there's a little inspiration and some direction from those guys. Hey, here's what you need to do. You need to set up a, a 501 um, C3. You know, I don't think any of those guys knew, you know, how to how do, how to do yeah. that. So, <laughs> so um, uh, Kevin Kaplan stepped in and uh, Phil Hector, those guys stepped in and they handled the business side of it. Um, and from there, we just got started. So we, this, the first year, five years ago, we had a banquet. It was packed, and we um, we put in the Hall of Fame the first the, the induction class, the inaugural class uh, included Junior uh, Seau. Um, well, let me see, uh, Kurt Govea. Uh, I'm, I'm going to forget some of the guys here, some of the all-time greats. But that was the first class, and then from there, every year, it's gotten it's better grown, and better. It's grown. grown. Troy Polamalu went in uh, a couple of years ago in my class. So it has just grown. It's gotten bigger and bigger, and now we've added the high school um, football game component to it, and this is the second year of the Polynesian Bowl. It has just grown. What do you think that means for these Polynesian athletes? Well, I think it's important for them. And I don't know that they understand how important it is to know your history and to know where you come from. Um, you know, you always hear um, that in order to know where you're going, you need to know where you are and you need to know where you came from. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you know, these kids that are here, high school football kids, they never heard of me. They didn't know that I played. And they didn't, you know, if they'd seen the me on the street. The same thing happens to me because I used to be Miss Hawaii. Oh, see? <laughs> They're like, oh. Mm. And after, right, after uh, like a, a few years, yep. people Who? don't remember and they, they forget. Um, and that's not, you know, we don't live our lives, you right. know, um, in the regretting past. in the past, <laughs> and, you know, I can't believe they don't remember me. No, but I think it's important because I, I know that I, I grew up, I had idols who were Polynesians, among them Junior Ayu and Mosi Tatupu. I, I doubt these guys would even know who they are, but I want those guys' memory to be remembered. I want people to understand what those guys, what they were doing to help pave the road, pave the way, to get us college scholarships, to have uh, people understand who we are and what we're about and our culture and why football is so important to us, which is really sort of odd because football is not indigenous to our people. Um, but we have played it, we have embraced it like no other sport. Mm -hmm. And speaking of you know students and athletes, the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame has programs for, for students as well. We do. We we provide scholarships. We pay, uh, you know, with with the money that uh, that we raise. We provide scholarships for people, for kids here in Hawaii. We raise scholarships for the for the institutions of these uh, of these players to provide to help them uh, with the scholarship money in order to bring more Polynesian kids to their universities. Now, some of these schools, frankly, USC, Alabama, do they need our help? 
know, but we want them to know and understand. And I think when you what you saw with uh, with Tua uh, Tagovailoa two weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, what he did in that game in the national championship game, I think sort of help helps people understand that we have these kids here in the islands who are just flat out warriors. And if you bring them to your campus, this is what they're gonna do for you. Speaking of Tua, is he your cousin? <laughs> Isn't he everybody's cousin? Here? I think he's like my, my yeah. sister's, auntie's, uncle's cousin sure. or something. He, yeah, he's my nephew. And uh, yeah, everybody's related to him. Isn't that funny how that <laughs> happens? I'm sure, you know, as soon as you become Miss Hawaii, you, you, you all of a sudden you realize how many cousins, how many aunts and uncles that you have, right? Um, well, that's what happens with uh, everybody that plays football. We all, I think everybody understands that. Tua's navigating life, uh, but you know what? Here's the great thing about that. Tua's not doing it, Tua's not following a path that is uncharted. No, Marcus Mariota has mm -hmm. sort of charted a course for, for that. And before Marcus, um, you know, there's Jack Thompson, 30 years before him who was the original throwing Samoan. So, you know, we have a, a legacy and a history that is really, frankly, unmatched. We, it's just as good as everybody else's, but we want people to understand and to know who many of our great players were and are. Definitely. Thank you, Vi, so much. So great. And great to be with you. Great to be with you, too, and to meet you. All right, and speaking of legacy, we're actually going to chat with uh, up-and-coming, you know, high schoolers, one of the yeah. top five in the world, and also an NFL player that's helping to inspire them as well. Stay with us.